Today's video is reflection and technology. <laughs> That's it. Make it funny. Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm the camera woman, and I'm in many different roles in my assignment. So there is, Ka uh, oops, Dr. Jeanette and assistant Gabby. Jeanette's dad, Bill Nye. <laughs> wanted us to make an assignment. It's called Reflection and Technology. And he wanted us to make what reflection is, what na what's in nature of light, what transmission, absorption, absorption, and all of those things. Oh, I forgot. And micro microscopes and how they work. And he wanted us to show you what they are and used in. So, yes. We will take you on a journey. Hey, I'm back. I listened to Jeanette's dad's theme song, Bill Nye the Side Sky, and it's really catchy. And it's, yeah. Here, I'll let you listen to it. Bill Nye the Side Sky. Bill Nye. It's very catchy. So yeah, Jeanette's dad's very famous. <laughs> Bye! So today's experiment is about light. And what you, you'll need is a glass of water, wait, a glass of water, fill it with water. <laughs> okay. And you need a laser and powdered Thanks. substance. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What um, is that? Powdered chocolate. Wow. Doesn't matter if it's chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay. So I made a mark here. Doctor Jeanette, what do we do next? So you shine a light through the glass, and you'll see is how it. Whoa. It's straight. Light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. So next step you do is take the chocolate. Powder. Doesn't matter. Get a pencil. But like. It can be any powder. It doesn't have to be chocolate. Okay, oh assistant my, Gabby. My do I look like assistant? Yes. And you mix it together. Wait for it. Wait for I'm kidding. Then you take the laser. And then you I shine through it again. We shine through it again. See? And see how it doesn't go through it. Because there's particles inside the water. <gasps> so what's happening? It's diluted. Then, is it reflecting? Is it refracting? What is it's it? It's absorption? Wow! Or is it transmission? Oh, transmission! Wow! Oops! <laughs> so, that's experiment today. Wow, thanks! Thank what? you for joining! Thank you! Thank you for joining Dr. for Dr. Jeanette, Dr. Jeanette and, and Assistant Gabby! <laughs> Ta! Assistant Gabby today is talking about transmission. Okay, let's let's do it. What's happening? What's happening today is we're talking about transmission. Okay. Transmission happens when the light from the sun goes through the sun. That's not a sun. I know, but goes through the tinted things on our window from our cars. You guys ever notice that? Yeah. I know. And transmission happens because that tinted thing from our windows is protecting our eyes from the light that's coming through from the sun. The purpose of this experiment to show you how light is being absorbed, transmitted, absor refracted, reflected, and can bend by almost everything. Like what? Like metal. Wow. You can see yourself from a spoon or a knife or a fork or the faucet from your shower. <gasps> wow. And by mirror. What happened in the mirror? You see yourself in the mirror reflected. <sighs> Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hello. Welcome back. I'm having an interview 
with assistant Gabby. Well, Dr. Jeanette was supposed to be here for the interview, but assistant da Gabby will take over. So, Gabby, what? Wait, how does a microscope work? Well, a microscope has two lenses. They are the objective and the eyepiece. The mirror from the bottom of the microscope guides the light rays from the mirror to the specimen. And with light, it makes much clearer to see. It makes a clear image through the eyepiece. Then the light travels to the objective lens, which is a powerful magnifying glass, and it has a convex lens. And into the eyepiece, which gives images, animal cues, or images of animal cues or organisms. Thank you, Gabby. We will take that to heart. Welcome back. Jeanette tells us, well, told us for you, us to show you how light travels through a microscope. And assistant Gabby has a diagram, so she will explain what will happen. So, Gabby, what is happening? Okay. First, the light goes through the mirror and then goes through the specimen, which Whoa. is right beside the mirror. And then the light goes through the objective. And then it goes through the tube and into the eyepiece. Wow! That's so simple! I know. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby and Jeanette. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Jeanette told us, oh, Dr. Jeanette told us, um, one of her fans asked us, how is microscopes beneficial to science? And assistant Gabby will tell us that. Gabby? <laughs> the beneficial microscope to the science world is before the first microscope, people had no idea there were organisms so small you couldn't see them. The microscope helps scientists discover the animal cues around us and how they interact in the world. That's it. Thank you! See you next time. Jean Dr. Jeanette has a laugh for you guys of why a microscope uses a concave lens. And the microscope uses a convex lens, just like a, ma a magnifying glass. It uses a convex lens, so concave. concave lens, so the light goes through and it diverges and it refracts. That's why it zooms in. Just like a microscope. Just like, like a microscope. Like, like, wow. Google. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Assistant Gabby will be doing the talking for the experiment today because Jeanette, Dr. Jeanette got picked up by her dad, Bill Nye. So, <laughs> Gabby will, Assistant Gabby will do it. So, what's happening? <laughs> Okay, imagine I have a garden tower, <laughs> solar light. Wow. It's like, it's like those things in your garden that collects up light mm -hmm. when it's daytime. Uh -huh. And when it's nighttime, it uses the collected light to light up. Wow. What's the pose you did right now? It's <laughs> such a flip. <laughs> I think I know who your mom is. <laughs> it's a such a <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. Thank you, Assistant Jeanette. Assistant Gabby. Assistant Gabby for the interview. That was not an interview. <laughs> Goodbye. A perspective of a camera woman. Ahoy! So, Assistant Gabby and Dr. Jeanette left because they needed to go. So, I have an assignment to make since I'm the camera woman and yeah. Jeanette gave me these instructions to say to you right there of what refle re reflection is. So here I go. Dr. Jeanette is a very famous person. Like, yes, she's very famous. Like her dad Bill Nye. So, she gets a lot of questions from Instagram and Facebook and all that. So, the first thing, the first question is, 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 what, what reflection and the first law of reflection is? 
So this is what Jeanette told me to say to you. Reflection is when light bounces back off off a surface. The light is not being absorbed, but it bounces off. On a flat surface, when light touches the surface, the angle is hitting it. Hitting is also the same angle when it bounces off, bounces back, or reflected. This is called the first law of reflection. This was discovered by the scientist Luke Euclid. So yeah, that was the question for all the millions of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oops. What Crystal also said is what's the cause and effect of that unique scenario? This is what also Jeanette wrote that I'll be reading. And this is what it says. The cause is the light beams reflected into two into two different mirrors and into the concave lens, which focuses the data. The effect is having the info on the transparent sheet into a bigger screen. So like the projector is two and there's two mirrors inside. And the light beam goes there, there, into the the con the concave lens, and it shows on the big screen. Yeah, an old school projector. I used it too. E. So she wanted also to to what am I saying? Is what scientist the scientist Euclid showed her back when she was young. Mhm. Mm and this is what he wrote her, or drew for her. This is the explanation what the first law of reflection. It is when the law, the, the angle of incident, so like the angle, so that like pretend this is a surface, and the angle of incidence right there. The incident is when, the angle of incident is when light touches the surface first. And the law, not the law, the angle of reflection is when it bounces off. Like that. And Euclid is saying that it is the same angle when it the angle of incident, angle of reflect, reflection. And this is normal. Angle of incident and the angle of reflection is the same angle. But only on a flat surface. But if it's shaky, like a little shaky, or like not uneven, it's a diffuse reflection. Like it, the light goes, reflects off to a million directions. I know it's confusing, but Dr. Jeanette knows all of these, and same with her dad, Bill Nye. He's very famous, so that's why Dr. Jeanette is very famous, too. Hey, so it was my break for like five minutes drinking coffee. <laughs> And the other questions that Jeanette told me to answer for you guys, since she's not here, is from her fan, Crystal. And she asked, what are, oh no, where is it, oh. What are the scenario where f reflection is used in real life? Good question, Crystal. <laughs> so, this is what Jeanette answered, Dr. Jeanette, oops answered and I'll read it to you guys an overhead projector uses reflection inside there is two mirrors a concave lens uses two mirrors and a concave lens oops messed up and a light bulb the light bulb open and it sends light beams to the first mirror and it reflects to the second mirror to the lenses the concave lenses focuses the light to keep it on the screen Without reflection, we would have never used an overhead projector, and the overhead projector helped us in many different, many different ways, and used an inspiration to make it even to make it even better technology. So like, it can be upgraded, like smart boards and all that. Yes, Crystal, it's used everywhere, but you don't know it. Yeah. Light travels in a straight line. Light is a form of energy. For example, people get sunburned because of the high temperatures of the sun. <laughs> That's why we get dark like this. <laughs> <laughs> Having glasses sucks sometimes, but it helps me see. So one thing is that light can be refracted or bend. So since I have nearsighted eyes, my glasses are concave lenses. And for the people who have far-sighted glasses, far-sighted eyes, 
they have a convex lens. Since my the light beams that goes into my eye doesn't reach to my retina, the my concave lenses makes my the light beams diverge. So when they diverge, it goes farther and reached to my retina. So that's how I can see. But I don't like my glasses. Dr. Jeanette and assistant Gabby and me, we party all the time, so we use the disco ball to party party, yeah. And what a disco ball actually works is that they, it reflects light. So a disco ball is a ball of tiny little broken piece mirrors on the side of the whole ball. And so when you put a flashlight on it, it reflects to many different places because the surface is uneven. That's why it's diffuse reflection. So yes, light can light can reflect. That's how we party party, alright? Hello, I am back. Dr. Jeanette has come back because of her meeting with Bill Nye and Assistant Gabby has come back too. And they are going, and Dr. Jeanette and Assistant Gabby will tell us what are the four properties of light. Hello. The four properties of light is light can bend, light is a form of energy, light can be reflected, and light travels in a straight line. Wow! Thank you! That was an amazing explanation. Thanks for having us. This time, Assistant Gabby will tell us why a spoon is reflective. Okay. So, the light reflects through the, through this, you can see the reflection of the light in it, and then into our, eye, into our eyes, this way we can see ourselves in it, just like a mirror. Yes, thank you. Hi, today's video is about, all about light. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs>